What's up guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain HVMC and these are my top five mud racing accessories. It is race day, it is raining, and it is muddy. You, my friend, are about to have a mud race. Now, whether you're a GNCC racer, a track guy, desert, or works, I have top, my top five accessories here that I'm gonna show you. They're gonna help you be prepared so when the race day comes, and if it is a mudder, you're gonna be able to hold on to your motorcycle and also be able to see and have a good time. Now, the first piece of advice I will give you before we jump into these is check your weather station. You know, make sure you know what the weather's gonna be like over the weekend. Don't just assume it's gonna be nice and sunny. That way, you're not gonna get caught out in the storm and think, man, I wish I was prepared. Now, jumping right into it, my top five accessories. The first subject we're gonna cover is gonna be your vision. Now, everyone's gonna have their goggles. That's a must have, you gotta have goggles. But when it comes to goggles, you gotta have a way to keep your vision clear. Now, there's two ways you can do that. You can go with tear-offs. If you are gonna go with tear-offs, I highly recommend you use laminated tear-offs. Don't go with standard. Mud and dirt can get in between those very easily. Now, with tear-off systems, laminated, a lot of guys will double or even triple stack to get up to 21. You know, so you can do that. Laminated tear off's good idea. But in my opinion, when it comes to a mud race or from heavy rain, the best way to go is you gotta have a roll off system. Now, most major goggle brands are all gonna have a roll off system. We have these all available on our website. Now, the roll off system, the way it works is usually it's gonna be a spare lens that you install. So I've got the forecast system here from 100%. What's nice about this system is it's gonna fit on any of their goggles, so the Strata, the Racecraft, or the Acuri. Now the way it works, you're gonna have a canister on each side and inside each canister, you're gonna have a roll of film. So you can see right here, you have this tab to you on the left. So when I pull on this tab, what happens is it pulls a clean roll of film across the lens of the goggle. So it's gonna scrape off all the mud that's on there and it's gonna leave you with clear vision. And with the roll off system, you're gonna get about 50 pulls out of this. So like I said before, some guys will triple stack their laminated tear offs to get 21. You're gonna get about 50 with any roll off system. So, hands down, the best way to go about having clear vision in a mud race, got to go with the roll-off system. Now, sticking along the theme of vision, my second tip and my second accessory is going to be a lens. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what the heck is that for? This is a great tip, guys. Pay attention. When you're riding out, when you're out there riding, you're going to have your helmet visor. Now, the longer you can make your helmet visor, the better it's going to be at blocking roofs and blocking mud when you put your head down. So, what a lot of riders will do, and this is pro racers all over the world will do this, just buy a spare lens. You know, these are fairly inexpensive, you know, under 10 bucks for most standard, just clear lenses on a, on a replacement goggle. And what you do is you're just gonna tape this right to the end of your visor on your helmet. And you can see that's gonna lengthen your visor about three to four inches. So that way when you duck your head down, it's gonna block even more mud, even more roots flying at you. And again, that is to help give you clear vision where you're out on the track. So that is my second accessory going along with vision. Now from there, the third accessory is going to be when it comes to grip, and this is going to be the mud grips from Risk Racing. Now grips, no matter what you do, they're going to get wet, they're going to get muddy, it's going to be hard to hold on to those. What's nice about these, these mud grips from Risk Racing is they're just foam, very thin, very easy to put on, they're just going to slide right over your grips. What's nice about it, when they are on there, it's just going to make it feel like you have a dry grip. Now a lot of guys will look at them and they're like, man, those are really fat, how's that going to feel when I grip the, the handlebars? What I can tell you is that they're very soft, so when you do grab and you squeeze, it almost feels like it's not even there. So mud grips, really nice to have. Again, it's gonna make it feel like you have a dry grip. Now these, as far as durability goes, most guys will get about two to three mud races on these. It depends on really how much you're using them. You know, they're fairly inexpensive, so I just recommend picking up a couple sets. You're always gonna have an extra pair if needed, but a definite must have when you are out there riding. Now after that, my fourth accessory, gotta have some hand guards. Handguard is going to be the best there is when it comes to, to deflecting and blocking roost or mud flying at you. You know, your hands are going to get wet no matter what if it's, if it's raining, but this is going to block a lot of mud that could potentially get flung on your hands and on your grips. So this is the D-Flex handguard from Tusk. Really nice set, really good price point. You're going to have aluminum bracket right here, and then you're going to have this molded plastic in the front. Again, good protection, and if you do were to hit a bush or a tree or something like that, you're going to get really good protection for your hands there. So you gotta go with handguards, but we have a ton of options when it comes to handguards. Make sure you check those out all on our website. Handguards. Now, last thing I'm gonna show you, last my, in my top five, is gonna be foam. Now, this is from P3. You're gonna have a two inch and a three quarter inch thick thickness that you can choose from. Now, with foam, what you wanna do with this is you just cut it out, and this is what most motocross and pro racers will do. They'll cut it out and they'll stick it between maybe their brake pedal, their shift lever, between the skid plate and their frame and their engine. 
and it just blocks mud from getting in there. You would be amazed at how much mud will get stuck between your skid plate and your engine, and it actually adds a lot of weight to your motorcycle. And if you get mud packed between your brake pedal or maybe your shift lever, you know, it can become dangerous. You know, it's not gonna function the way it's supposed to. So what riders will do, they will take this foam, they will cut it out and they will just stuff it. You can zip tie it and that will keep it in place. Again, it's just there to keep as much mud out of your bike as possible. So inexpensive, a great way to keep mud off your motorcycle. So that's it. Those are my top five mud racing accessories. Now I'm sure you guys have a lot of great ideas and tips that you didn't see up here. So make sure you comment below, you know, help your riding buddies out so they can read what you guys like to do for mud races to be prepared. If you want to shop and get any of the things that I talked about today, just click on the link that will take you to it. And remember guys, subscribe to us on YouTube. That will keep you up to date and in the loop. We're constantly doing gear guides, top five videos like this, how-to videos to help you guys out. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain and we'll see you on the trails.